Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 322. It's a hard level problem uh, and a very good problem to solve. I also feel the same. You can see the accuracy. Um, it is pretty low as well. So <clears throat> the problem name is divide nodes into the maximum number of groups. Okay. So you are given a positive integer n representing the number of nodes in, in an undirected graph. The nodes are numbered from 1 to n, right? You are also given a 2D integer array edges where edges of i equals to ai comma bi indicating that there is a bi-directional edge between nodes ai and bi okay notice that the given graph may be disconnected right this is a good point to note i'll tell you why okay so divide the nodes of the graph into m groups one index such that each node in the graph belongs to exactly one group right and for every pair of nodes in the graph that are connected by an edge if ai belongs to the group with index x and bi belongs to the group um, with index y then y minus x is one okay that means they should belong to adjacent groups simple return the maximum number of groups uh, that is maximum m into which you can divide the nodes return minus one if it is impossible to uh, group the nodes with the given conditions right these are certain examples so let me just show you um, basically what is uh, what the problem is trying to say so it says that you are given certain nodes right so uh, one to n you have certain nodes and then you have some edges okay you have some edges edges represent that uh, okay uh, these two nodes are corrected in a bi-directional manner okay now what we need to do we need to divide those edges we need to divide those nodes basically such that you form some groups okay you form some group of nodes and suppose i have a node here okay i have a node here and i have a node here okay so or or i can say if i have a node a and i have a node b okay and if these two are connected so that means the these two uh, should belong to adjacent groups okay that means if a is here then b will be here or if a is here b can be here or b can be here or vice versa that's the uh, that's the meaning of this okay now this is what the problem says now you need to find the maximum number of groups that you can form okay like if i if i pick the first example so my graph is something like that one is connected to two one is connected to four one is connected to five two is connected to six let me just put it these into circles two is connected to three as well okay and four is connected to six this is this is my graph okay now now what we need to do is uh, we'll, we'll go to the intuition but see so if i start with node number five i put it into one group okay so this is gone now what are the adjacent nodes to five okay the only adjacent node is one so i put one here in another group in an adjacent group right one is also gone now what are the adjacent nodes to one that is two and four so what i do i create another group two and four are added here right i am bound to <clears throat> keep two and four either here or here right because um because obviously right these if one is here two can be either in this group or in this group that is what we are so two and four are also gone now three so just see three is connected to two so three has to be put into a separate group okay and six six is also connected to two i put it here now you must be wondering that why not put three and six in this group that is also a valid case but we need to form the maximum number of groups right so we create a new group so here you can see i create four groups right what is the another possibility so five is here one is in second group then you have two then you have four then uh, we have three and six so i put three here six here i just have three groups so here i have three groups here i have four groups so four will be my answer right that is one of the things now let's look into some of the observations okay so in a graph so this graph can be disconnected meaning this is one component this is another component that means one is connected to two two is connected to three and so on now four is connected to five and five is connected to six suppose like this so this is my graph but these two guys are not connected okay so this these are two connected components okay so that means if my answer for this is x 
and my answer for this is y then my answer will be x plus y what is x and y that means if in this case i form a group of length x so suppose this is a group that i form suppose i form it right so if the length of this is x right so what i do if i form a length of y y groups in the second one in another disconnect in another connected component so my answer will be x plus y meaning for all we, we basically sum the answers for all the connected components that is one of the observations right so this is done now comes the question how do you calculate the answer for one of the components right one of the connected components so just see here we need one node to start right we need one node to start so here i have three options right here i have three options so i can start from any one now if you look into the problem statement then the number of nodes is 500 meaning the number of nodes is pretty less so what we will do is we will check for every node that means what i'll do for if i talk about this one so once i'll start with one okay meaning my first will be my first group will contain one okay now i will uh, do a simple breakfast search right anything i'll do a simple breakfast search i'll put adjacent nodes here then i'll put adjacent nodes here and so on now comes the question is this problem really this much simple so now comes some tricky cases okay <laughs> now what are those tricky cases there can be a cycle in my graph right there can be a cycle now what happens in case of a cycle just see here so one is connected to two right two is connected to three and three is connected to one if this is the case then just see will i be able to form any cycle uh, sorry any uh, valid groups so if i put one in one of the this then two will come here right two will come here what about three right what about three three comes here but three and one are also connected right three and one are also connected that means but th this is x this is y and y minus x is greater than one that is not at all possible three cannot be here this is forming an invalid case right this is forming a cycle what is the length of the cycle the length of the cycle is three let's look into another case one is connected to two two is connected to three three is connected to four and four is connected to one something like this now let's see that will i be able to form a valid case or not so um suppose i, I pick two okay i can pick anything because we'll be testing with every node right suppose i put two here this is the first group then what will happen i'll put three here i am bound to put three in another group in an adjacent group then what about this four i put four here right this is also gone right now again four and one so i put one here so just see are the cases satisfied one and two one and two should be, should be in adjacent groups yes one and two are in adjacent groups two and three should be adjacent Yes, 2 and 3 are adjacent. 3 and 4, 3 and 4, 1 and 4, 1 and 4, right? So that means, and what is the length of the cycle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Here it was 3. So for 3, it was not working. For 4, it is working. Me. Let's look into another cases, right? 1 is connected to 2, 2 is connected to 3, 3 to 4, 5, 6, right? So length of the cycle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, will I be able to form a cycle? Uh, sorry, a valid group? Yes. Put these two here. Right? Simple. These two here. These two here. However, so for length 6, again you are able to form a valid graph. However, for odd length, if suppose it is like this. 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 length. If you if you see you will not be able to form it because suppose you put two here you put three here right then you put one here now one and five should be adjacent so let's let's assume i put it here right five and four should be adjacent so either i put four here or four here but three and four are also connected so i cannot put four here i cannot put four here otherwise the distance here will increase and these will be in the same group right so it will not form a valid case so the first observation was of connected components x plus y wala thing the second thing is in case of even length cycle even length i am able to do the things however in case of odd length i will not be able to form a valid group so just return minus one 
these were the observations that i wanted to tell now uh, the problem becomes very easy to solve okay now all we need to do and in fact i have done the same thing all we need to do if i if i show you the code so <coughs> sorry this is the code now what i have done just see this is my main function okay the first thing this is a distance array and this is construct graph this is a function that i use at most of the places in fact in the third problem of the same contest right you just construct a graph how do you construct it so uh, you basically construct an adjacency list right pretty simple to do right now i have taken a queue because i want to do a bfs okay and there are two nodes in the group uh, in in every pair okay first is the current node and the last node okay current node and the last node we'll see what these things mean right now as i told you i'll be doing a bfs from every node from all the n nodes to check the possibilities right now areas dot full distances is minus one simple basic cases in step equals to zero meaning what is the length of the cycle i'll be using this thing to to uh, test it right now one more thing one more thing i i missed to tell you that <coughs> sorry i missed to tell you that what we will be doing <laughs> sorry what we will be doing is we will be starting from every node and we'll be checking that uh, so I, I told you some of the observations right now when you consider one connected component so suppose you start from one node okay when you start from one node and you do a bfs then at every step what you will be doing you will be seeing that okay the distance of the next node from this node is one the distance of the next node from actually this node is 2 and so on right so you will be calculating the in bfs what you do you start from one node and you calculate the distance of the other nodes from the node from where you started it right? so we'll be doing this and why we are doing is our main aim here is that we see that what are the total number of nodes what are the uh, total number of nodes uh, that can form those groups okay that <coughs> sorry that is what we will be doing you will be updating it uh, at, at at every step right so th that is what we will be doing so simple stuff you start from here then you go to the next node then you go to the next node and suppose uh, next node comes here so obviously uh, you'll be updating the distances of those nodes right you'll be updating the distances and so on uh, finally i have one more node the, this is the case that i explained you for the odd and even length length cycles okay so this is what we'll be doing for every node we'll be calculating the distances okay and then um, whatever is the answer for this group whatever is the answer for this group i was telling now for one connected component is x then for next it is y and so on so what we will be doing we will be representing this whole group with the uh, minimum node with the minimum node like for example if i have one two and three in a connected component so i'll be saying that okay answer for this is x but for which it is x it is for one okay even if i calculate it for two or three since these belongs to the same group that group will be represented by one okay that is what i'll be doing now let's jump into the code so i just wanted to tell you this thing okay now what we'll be doing distance of i equals to zero because i am starting from the ith node i put the current node and minus one in my queue now i start processing similar and also min node equals to i because right now i just have this node and this group will be represented by the minimum node right now i i start doing a while true k is the number of nodes if k equals to zero just break it plus plus step that means now the the, the next node that that i'll be visiting is at this distance from the node from where i started from which node i started i started from i okay simple basic dfs so while k is greater than zero k minus minus right, right because you are traversing k values now you pull that value from the queue see what are the what are the values so this is the node this is so this is the node that i want to process and this is the previous node okay so now what i do i fetch the adjacency list of the node that i want to process right so it is graph dot get node of this so this is the next <coughs> next node that i'll be processing so if next equals equals last so this is for the cycle this is for the cycle stuff okay so the next node that you are processing right if that is equals to last okay so we we, we stop uh, going backwards right again up uh, nh case okay now if that is not the case then what you do you do distances of next equals equals minus one that means if this node has not been covered till now so what you will do distance of distances of next equals to step nodes dot add 
now you want to process this node this is a new node that you have uh, found so uh, what you do you add a pair of next because next is the node that you want to process and for th that node the previous will be the current node so next and node i add it right simple stuff now min you just update min because this group will be represented by the min node right simple now what is the other case other case is if this node was not visited then i do this if do this node was already visited then i check that then it means uh, this is a cycle okay so what i do i check distances of next minus step length of the cycle i'm checking the length of the cycle mod 2 is not equal to 0 that means if it's an odd length return minus 1 simple you return minus 1 so this is the stuff that you do now when you have done bfs for one node right suppose you will be doing it n times so what you do data dot put min node this is the node which i'll be represent using to represent the group math dot max of whatever value that is that is present comma step simple stuff right you will be doing this and once you do this once you do this you know that okay now this group will be represented by <coughs> sorry will be represented by um, uh, this node and the answer for this is x simple stuff now finally whatever i told you uh, i have answers for all the connected components right these are the connected components i just add it into my result and i return the result right so this is what uh this this uh, how we solve this problem um and yeah i i do hope you learn something new from this video it was a very different problem to be very honest um in fact i also enjoyed when i when i uh, saw that how how we can solve this problem so yeah uh, we all learn together that's the main main motive <laughs> so yeah do let me know in case of any queries also uh, mention that into the comments i'll revert on each one of them also if you find this channel useful please do subscribe to the uh, channel it helps me keep motivated uh, also yeah i'll be posting the solution of this one in the comment section in the in the uh, description also and yeah do enjoy have fun bye bye